All right, hey everybody, it's Renee Signs. Uh, it's been a while, but I'm still working on this YouTube. And uh, I'm actually working on molding the wings now. So um, I know it's been a while since the last video. Uh, lots happened. Moved, uh, no longer in Houston, uh, in Austin now. So had to set up a new shop, get moved, and all that fun stuff. So and then with the holidays, it just really time kind of got away. So. Right now, molding the wings, um, and I've already done the bottom. Uh, and this is actually the right, yeah, the right wing. I've already molded the bottom. Uh, Going to take off the parting planes and see uh, if I can uh, show you the uh, end result here. I'm gonna try and pop this off without. I want to separate the parting planes last. This is I kind of built everything up on this board. Uh, really easy. This is just hot glue that's holding. On. Um, I'll flip this this MDF over and uh, use it for the other wing. Uh, that's not, not too bad. So let's see if you can see now. You can see a little bit better. Here's the uh, the the top of the wing. And I put tape here where I hot glued the pieces of wood to the to the wing to support it. Just able to pull that off. careful not to scratch the plug while I'm doing this. I spent all that time making those uh, panel lines and rivets. Definitely don't want to ruin that. That's why I'm using my hands. Oh gosh that hurt. Sounds worse than it is. All right. There's the wing. And now to take parting planes off. And I thought I'd be able to reuse these, but I don't, I don't think that's going to happen. Not a little bit, so you can see better. Yeah, it's been. Uh, I believe we'll get the fuse molded uh, right before the move, and then it was just uh, craziness trying to get the shot packed, everything packed up, uh, and ready to come to Austin. Here's, here's one. I kind of did things a little bit different. I uh, you can't see it on the bottom mold, but I left the ailerons and the ailerons and the flaps attached still to the plug. I decided I wanted to try. Uh, my worry was 
I wouldn't be able to keep everything lined up. And it would, you know, if I made separate molds, it would and I'd never get them to line up. But um, so I decided to uh, mold everything together, put a parting plane right where the uh, hinge line was, and uh, so I'll mold everything. Uh, separate still. Uh, I just wanted to make the molds all together, if that makes any sense. Um, but basically, if you can imagine, you know, right here is the hinge line uh, with the flaps and the ailerons. And I had a parting plane kind of going like that. So now I got one mold for the wing section. And then I turn that parting plane over. And then I've got another mold here for the with well, aileron flaps, and I'll mold those together. Uh, and then after I mold the part, I'll uh, separate them out. But uh, this looks like it came out all right. Not seeing a lot of chipping. Uh, dots came out okay. I got to do a little bit of clean up there. Here's my little furniture dots I use. Uh, I can just reuse these. It's the nice thing about these. They're just plastic furniture dots I got at Walmart. You just drill a hole in the parting plane, bang them in, wax them up, PVA them, and uh, they're ready to go. I've used these dots a few times already, so I think they've already got some wax and PVA on them, so they're releasing pretty good now. much wax and PVA as I did on my fuselage because I figured this is a pretty flat this is a pretty flat piece uh, and all right and that's that there's that part plane all right Let's zoom in a little bit so you can kind of see. I'm going to chip that one out. I keep crossing in front of the camera. I'm sorry about that. But uh, there you go. The. Um, One wing half. <sighs> One wing half ready to uh, lay up the top side now. I just need to clean this up. Um, Clean these dots up first. I can tell where there's some some resin got underneath the dot. Uh, and this guy, see right here, I can't even get it out. It's got uh, it's got a bunch of resin that got underneath it. That's what happens when you don't drill your holes like I did on this one here, perfectly straight up and down. So it left a gap in that. Uh, that surface coat, tooling coat, got underneath, and uh, but that's okay. I can pull this out, and uh, what I'll do these these edges here, I'll just round them off a little bit with a Dremel and smooth them out, and those will be fine. These are just the indexing holes for the for the mold. I trimmed up the bottom this time. I didn't get impatient, uh, so this sits nice and flat on the table. Um, I didn't trim the edges. Uh, you can see here, I didn't trim this stuff up here. Uh, I wanted to lay that that next uh, that next piece, and then uh, after I'm done, then I'll I'll trim these edges nice and flush, um, and then drill the uh, bolt holes. Um, but that's it. That's the wing. Uh, 
quarter of the way, I guess, there with the wings. Uh, I've got the other wing sitting on the table right over there. This is actually my new my new digs. Uh, I'll do a quick little sweep. Yeah, I'll pay homage there to the skunk works there. Um, took me a while to put everything together. Uh, here's kind of where I do my uh, layup stuff and cutting up cloth and mixing up my resin and whatnot and got some some wood and made a nice little uh, leaning uh, like a fabric rack out of some cheap uh, two by threes but uh, I'm gonna get this cleaned up uh, I'll do that tonight uh, round off some of these sharp edges uh, and then start waxing so that uh, I can add some PVA uh, maybe tomorrow or the day after and uh, start molding the uh, top half wanted to do the bottom half just to make sure I was uh, not going to have any problems. I figured the uh, bottom half would go a little bit easier. Um, but um, I, think we, uh, I think we'll be alright. So anyway, until then, we'll see you guys later.